Hey guys, and uh, most specifically um, gals, um, for for the purpose of this video, um, Amanda here. Today I wanted to share with you four tips um, that I have um, when choosing women's specific gear for backpacking. Um, so as a woman, it can be hard to find uh, unisex uh, backpacking gear that often fits you properly. So here are some women-specific gear considerations uh, when investing in backpacking gear. Um, so gals, this one is specifically for you. Um, first and foremost, consider investing in a women-specific sleeping bag, especially if you've found that um, you get relatively cold in unisex bags or it doesn't hug your body quite like you'd like to um, and if you have wide hips or a more curvy body type. Uh, women's specific sleeping bags will, will definitely ensure a better night's sleep in the backcountry. Um, secondly, consider investing in a women's specific backpack. Um, so these are designed for those of us that have less broad shoulders than men and uh, in addition to um, a different hip belt design than you'll find on most uh, men specific and unisex packs. So it's going to offer a little bit more padding and um, a placement that's going to allow for support, uh, you know, if you have generally wider hips as us women do. So definitely, especially if you tend to get any hot spots or blisters around the hip or shoulder areas, consider investing in a women specific backpack. If the unisex models just aren't quite working out. Um, thirdly, you're gonna want to look into uh, women's specific hygiene products. So things that uh, you might not necessarily think about um, from a unisex or, or male perspective. So these can include um, bathroom items like a pee funnel or uh, antimicrobial pee rag. Um, those are, um, peeing in the back country as a woman um, is always a bit more challenging. So those, uh, those items can um, can really make a difference in your backcountry experience if you're finding that that is something um, you're you're kind of struggling with or could improve and enhance your uh, quality of trail life. Um, and finally, if you plan on hiking alone, women always consider you know carrying safety items um, like a whistle, bear spray, and a personal locator beacon. Although I feel like that last one applies to hikers in, in general. So um, just to, just wanted to emphasize that one too if you're a woman uh, out solo hiking or backpacking. So quickly to recap, uh, so four women specific gear considerations I have for you um, when picking out backpacking gear. Uh, firstly, consider investing in a women's specific sleeping bag, especially if you have wide hips or curvier body type and, and you find that you get a little bit chillier, have extra space in, in men or unisex bags. Uh, secondly, consider investing in a women's specific backpack, especially if you find the uh, unisex or um, men's versions don't fit you quite as well or you're getting hot spots on your hips or shoulders. Women's specific backpacks are um, designed um, for those with less broad shoulders and they also offer more padding and a women's specific hip belt. Uh, design as well, which can and really enhance your experience carrying um, a backpack on the trail. Thirdly, you want to keep in mind those uh, women-specific hygiene products uh, like a pee funnel or a rag. And finally, if you plan on hiking alone, ladies, definitely consider keeping um, some safety items on hand at all times, like a whistle or, or bear spray and or a personal locator beacon, although like I mentioned before, the, that can definitely be applied across the board to to anyone um, setting out on a solo hike. So um, I'd love to hear any additional tips uh, you might have in terms of picking out women's specific gear for backpacking or if one of these in particular um, really helped you out or made a difference in, in, in a gear decision. Um, that you plan on making. Um, love to hear your feedback and any general feedback as always in the comments below. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like connecting with other outdoor enthusiasts, you should definitely consider checking out Summit. 
Summit is a social network that brings together adventure junkies from all around the world to exchange stories, share advice, and inspire each other. You might even make some new friends too. It's kind of like Facebook for outdoorsy people, but with better privacy, no ads, no spam, and tons of extras. You can join Summit by going to summit.theadventurejunkies.com or by clicking the link in the description below. You can find me in Summit too, so be sure to say hi when you join.